As far back in time as when there were first trumpets with, uh, with valves, uh, composers would write trumpet voluntaries or trumpet tunes. Uh, typically very simple compositions that would feature a trumpet solo with an accompaniment played on organ or piano or a small orchestra. Uh, very simple, uh, usually consisting of two melodic sections. The first is played, then the second, then the first is repeated for the ending. And some of the most famous of those uh, are from uh, Henry uh, Purcell and Jeremiah Clark. Uh, the trumpet processional and recessional that I did that were written by Robert Cavara are both forms of trumpet voluntaries. I've had this video in my inventory for a long time, thought it was time to clear out the inventory. Uh, after this and my next one, uh, which I'll publish on Easter weekend, I'm going to cut back and do only one or two a month, uh, rather than one per week. I want to start writing my own arrangements of some popular hymns and do some more composing, and that takes more time than just a week. Uh, this trumpet voluntary, called Trumpet Tune, was written by David Johnson in 1962. Johnson was a composer and organist who lived from 1922 to 1987 and wrote over 300 compositions, most for church use. This piece served as the theme music for a weekly radio program entitled With Heart and Voice, if you remember that. Uh, it was also uh, the first of two processionals played at the 1971 White House Rose Garden wedding of Richard Nixon's daughter, Tricia, to Edward Cox. But it wasn't played on trumpet. They just had a string quartet. I'm playing it on a D Stradivarius trumpet, uh, a rather difficult horn to play for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, some folks uh, mistake it as a cornet when they see it. And although I first learned to play on a cornet uh, when I was in the sixth grade, I no longer own one. The major difference that you'll see between a standard B flat trumpet and the D trumpet, right? They're both about the same length, but look at the, uh, the piping here, right? The piping there is quite short where the piping on the, uh, on the B flat trumpet uh, is quite a bit longer. Uh, other than that, uh, they're, they're, they are pretty much the same in, in construction. Um, the uh, shorter sound also gives them a brighter, the shorter piping gives a slightly brighter uh, sound as well. Uh, Johnson's uh, trumpet tune is a um, rather unique trumpet voluntary in that it has three rather than just two sections. So it does a section one, section two, section one, but rather than ending, it goes into a section three and then comes back and has an ending. So it's a rather lengthy, in that regard, a rather lengthy uh, trumpet voluntary. Uh, one other quick note is that you can see all my videos on uh, the Music for the Spirit channel on YouTube. When you're looking at this video on YouTube, if you look below it on the screen, you'll see the channel icon. And if you click on that, you'll be taken to the um, channel uh, where all the videos are stored. No need to save all the emails if that's uh, how you're currently uh, getting them. So, uh, here is David Johnson's trumpet tune in D, uh, played on a D trumpet. Uh, and be sure to catch my uh, next video on Easter weekend. It will be my most elaborate undertaking yet.